Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the probability and impact matrix. And today's topic is very interesting and very important with respect to project management and especially if you are a student of PMP and you are planning to give exam of PMP in your future. So this is a very, very important topic. Secondly, if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization already as a project manager, so again, this is important and necessary for you to understand the imp uh, necessity of the probability and impact matrix. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. Probability and impact matrix. Friend, if you just see the term probability and impact, so that means this matrix is referring to two components, probability and impact. We shall discuss these two components uh, one by one separately. First of all, we have to understand that what is probability and impact matrix. It is a tool uh, used for risk analysis. Whenever we are identifying the risk or whenever we are analyzing the risk, we use this tool uh, with this component uh, called as probability and impact matrix. Looking at impact versus probability is common in order to categorize and prioritize risk or some risk as some risk may have a severe impact on projects objective but only happen a rare occasion while other have a moderate impact but occur more frequently. <coughs> See friend here that uh, probability impact matrix is a matrix uh, component used for risk analysis and we are comparing the probability with respect to impact so that we can analyze that what is the importance and value of a, uh, of a risk that whether how we should treat or consider the uh, risk as well. So uh, we should dis we shall discuss one by one. First, we we shall discuss the impact. Friend, whenever we talk about impact, we are referring to a risk. Uh, we are referring to an event, uh, to an impact. That what impact will happen occur on in terms of time, cost, scope, uh, issues, etc. On the project, if that particular risk occur. Okay. For example, if we say that, for example, if uh, particular risk A event occur so we will face a uh, impact of uh, $500 <coughs> we, we will face a loss of $500 in a project if that particular risk occur for example if we say that for example if we are we have to receive any particular hardware in the month of July if we didn't receive that uh, hardware in the month of July so we will receive we, we have to face a penalty of thousand dollar for example so this is a, an impact so whenever we talking about impact basically we are referring to uh, impact in terms of time cost uh, uh, delays etc so we are referring to an uh, impact in terms of time cost scope etc on a project okay so we should be able to analyze the impact of any particular risk event on a project so that is the main concept of impact here then now the probability probability means that the likelihood or chances of occurrence this is the uh, concept of probability this is a mean term from statistics uh, probability says that uh, what are the chances or occurrence of an event for example if we say that uh, <clears throat> how many chances if you are have a coin uh, which is having uh, a tail and head so what is the chances of uh, that you will uh, get a head in a uh, whenever you toss a coin so there are chances of 50 percent that you can get the uh, head why because see uh, the fa formula of the probability says that the to favorable event divided by total number of event so favorable event is one and uh, the total number of uh, occurrence is 2 so uh, 1 divided by 2 so it will become 0 0.5 so 5 for 50 percent <coughs> chances are there so basically coming towards our main topic probability says that what are the chances or likelihood of the event risk event that it will occur okay so that is the main concept of a probability here so a uh, friend you as a project manager you should be able to not only analyze the impact also you should be able to analyze the probability of even as well because see <clears throat> now actually in what context we are talking all about these things basically we are talking about a risk that 
what is the impact on a project if that particular risk event occur and what is the probability probability means that how many chances are there that this particular risk occur for example let me give an example for example um, <coughs> there you are working in any organization and you are uh, there is a risk that an earthquake can occur in that particular city so how many chances are there obviously the likelihood and chances are low because you know that it is not a case that every month or after every four months the uh, the earthquake will occur however you have to calculate the probability but the probability or likelihood of chances are low but here see if that particular risk occur so the impact would be very very high okay so this is uh, in that way basically you have to think as a project manager that if that particular risk occur so what will be the impact actually now I can give you a uh, very uh, simple example this is see this is an example of probability and impact matrix see here is the probability that rare unlikely moderate likely very likely and this is the impact low low trivial minor moderate major extreme so this is this row is the impact and this row is the uh, probability here you can see if the probability is very low and the impact is trivial so it is a low risk if uh, the probability is rare and impact is minor so it is also a low risk if uh, impact is moderate but the probability is low it is all again uh, low if the impact is major and probability is rare it is a medium if impact is extreme and rare uh, probability is rare so again the risk is uh, medium however <coughs> you can see from here uh, that for example if the probability is unlikely and impact is extreme so again it is a medium risk but if from here you can see you can notice from here that if the probability is moderate and impact is extreme so it is a very very high risk so basically from here you can see uh, you can uh, categorize the risk very uh, easily that if the probability is very likely and extreme is important and, and the impact is extreme so it is a very very high risk so see from here friend what you can do you can do like you must have to do the risk mitigation for all those risks which are very high also you can uh, do some planning at some later stage for the medium risk and uh, the, for those risks which are on a low uh, side uh, you can do the planning at some later stage so in that way basically you can do your planning because there are so many risks in a project so first of all you must have to do the planning for all those risks which are on a red side or on a very high side like the uh, probability is also very likely and the impact is also very extreme or major so you must have to do the uh, planning for those risks and then the medium and then the low at a late, some later stage so friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you